In this video, we'll be looking into construction of PDA using empty stack method. So this is the second example. So the problem statement says to design a PDA for the given language W and W reciprocal. So W belongs to 0 plus 1 star by using empty stack method and we need to trace for the given string. So my first step would be to design a CFG for the given language. So here I have written down the language and here the L. So I'll I have defined the L here. So when when w w is w belongs to 0 plus 1 star so 0 if star is there clean closure it, it includes empty string also so let me write lambda here so if i put 0 here and if i put a mirror then on the opposite side also it has to be 0 yes that's what wwr refers to right and then if i put 1 here it has to be 1 here and if i put 0 1 here the reflection should be 0 1 it, 1 0 itself and if i put um, 1 1 0 here then it here it has to be 0 1 1 and so on so here I have defined the language now let me write CFG for it so uh, we have already learned how to design CFG for the given language in previous videos so I'll write the, the CFG here so s derives lambda yes followed by that I have 0 followed by any number of zeros ending by ending with 0 or I could have 1 followed by any number of zeros or ones or lambda and then one at the ending. So this is the CFG I have defined. My second step would be to convert from CFG to PDAG. So how is this conversion done? So in order to convert, I should know the structure. I should know uh, the form of PDAG, right? So let me write it here. A derives A, X, X, A or Lambda. So here in PDAG, so the first uh, element should be a terminal followed by N number of non-terminals or it could be just a non-terminal or just a terminal or an empty string that is Lambda. So let me convert this CFG to PDAG obeying this rule so I would get s derives lambda yes it is accepted followed by 0 0 being a non-terminal s uh, 0 being a terminal s being a non-terminal after that there should not be terminals but then here I have 0 again so let me write a here and here I'll define a derives 0 okay I'm done with 0 is 0 then I have 1 s 1 so I'll write 1 s here I have 1 again so I can't write 1 here so let me write B here and B derives 1. So this is the acceptable PDAG I have written down. My next step that is step 3 is to write the transition functions for productions of PDAG. So let me write the transition functions of this so the PDAG I'll write down one by one. So S derives lambda, S derives 0SA, OS 0SA, S derives 1SB, A derives 0 and B derives 1. And on this side I'll write the transition function. So transition. So if you have watched my previous videos have explained uh, the transition state for uh, the empty stack method. So it will be in the same state. So let me start from Q. First I'll take S and then on this side the first is lambda. Here I'll take Q, S and 0 is the first here. right? So I'll write Q, S and 1 here. I'll write Q, A and 0 here. I'll write Q, P and 1 here. So in empty stack method, uh, there would be no changing of state. It would be in the same state. So I'll write Q in all these. And uh, next it derives to whatever productions look at that. So here I have lambda after lambda. Is there anything? No, there's no, no there's nothing. So I'll write lambda only. So after zero, I have SA. So I'll write SA here. After one, I have SB here. So after 0 there is nothing so I will write lambda, after 1 there is nothing so I will write lambda. So I am done with the third step. My fourth step is to define P 
PDAG, PDA. So P is equal to Q comma sigma comma transition function tau Q naught Z naught and F where Q is Q comprises of all the states I have here. So it is only Q, only one state. This would be the start state also and this would be the accepting state also. Then I have sigma, the alphabets which are accepted here are 0 and 1. Followed by I have transition function which is defined in step 3. Then I have tau. So tau comprises of all the alphabets which I have used here S, A, B. And then I have Z0, Z0 being the start state. The start state here was S, right? So S. So here I have defined the PDA. My last step would be to trace for given string that is W is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0. So in order to trace, I will take the initial configuration that is Q, S and W. So here Q comprise Q is the start state. Q is the start state. And S is whatever belongs in Z0 would be stored in S. And W is the string for which we need to trace. So let me start tracing. So first I will write Q, S s being the start state and then w i'll write 0 1 1 0 here i am doing the instantaneous description if you have watched my previous videos you'll understand how it's done so let me take q s and 0 transition of q s and 0 gives q comma s a so it is in the same state and on top of stack i have s and a so in place of s i'll put s a and 0 is being occupied so there's lambda here if there's nothing written here so it's assumed to be lambda right so in place of zero i'll write lambda so you, i need not write zero or lambda so i'll write one one zero again q s and one i'll consider q s and one i'll get q comma s b right so i'll write q comma s b this a is here and this one is consumed so i get one zero so after this after uh 0 1 here I need to remember that 0 1 there's lambda here and then the, it's 1 0 that's how it is right w and wr so this lambda may or may not be considered but here we are considering the lambda so so I'll write lambda here so q s and lambda q s and lambda gives q lambda only so this ed s won't be considered and here lambda also won't be considered so I'll write Q comma B A comma 1 0. So Q B and 1. Q B and 1 Q comma lambda. So B neglected 1 neglected. So I get Q comma A comma 0. So Q A 0 is again Q lambda and lambda. I would be left out with lambda and lambda on the, uh, the start state and the string. So this means that the string is traced uh, the, the when when I get q lambda lambda for the empty stack method I can say that the given string is accepted so I hope you have understood uh, how to design a PDA for the given language using empty stack method if you have any doubt do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you